Okay. So, hello, Becky. Would you like to sort of introduce yourself and tell us what your involvement was with the, the History Trust? Um, hi, Isabel, and uh, hello, everybody. This is a um, really nice way of doing things. Um, weird, but very changed from when I first got involved with the Natural History Trust, which was when I came to Ireland in 2004. So I came without a job and two youngish children, and I heard about the Natural History Trust straight away. And in fact, I think we had been in 1991 when I was pregnant with Lorna. We'd visited Ireland. It was my first time for visiting the island, and we'd we'd sought out the Natural History Trust, and it was in the old buildings in Port Charlotte at the time, on the other side of the road from where it is now, and a bit further up the street towards Port Nahaven. And yeah, that was our very first involvement in 1991. So it was just in its infancy there then. And um, when I moved to the island sort of 13 years later, um, I just went into the Natural History Trust and asked Fiona if there were any jobs. And if, yeah, at first I just worked there on a Sunday. Um, it was open quite a lot more than it is at the, mo at the minute. And uh, it was a case of uh, welcoming people and uh, yeah, clean in selling stuff the shop was quite small at that time and then yeah so it increased gradually I got more involved and then latterly I was the the manager there and that was exciting changing the water and yeah that, so that's that's how I got involved I was I was forthright what kind of uh, natural history did you look at what what were they looking at then? Oh, we and we had the sea tanks, um, which was which was great. We got the touch table, um, with um nests on and dog well kegs and um not dog well kegs, well kegs, and also you know antlers and things. So there was all of that, but there was a lot of sea tanks. I remember there was the tank with the which Fiona had set up, which was brilliant where you had the tide, the tidal tank, so you had water going in and out. So you've got low tide represented and then high tide, which is really good. I never managed to replicate that, unfortunately. It was, it was, it was a Fiona idea that was just too brilliant for me. Um, but we had the big sea tank. We had the, Then we, we got the fiberglass touch pool installed, um, and... That was great. There was starfish in and hermit crabs and, and crabs and a few like shannies and things. So there was quite a lot of focus on the marine life, but we had the displays with the birds and the butterflies. I did a big butterfly display in the lecture theatre because um, I really like butterflies. So we had we had that and anything. We had an amazing library. I loved the library. And I loved when people came in and um, wanted to look something specific up. So you've got all the books out on the table and it, it just felt so utilised then because uh, it was such a, a brilliant library. And the kiddies came in, of course, and they'd got their special room that that, that was painted um, during the time that I was there. And, uh, oh, yeah, there was the play group, the Gaelic play group, I believe, at one time, they used to meet in the lecture theatre area. Um, and we had the, the wormery and the bog tank. Yeah, anything that people were interested in, that huge whale, the minky whale on the, the skeleton as you walk in. Yeah, very fond memories of it. Um, did you do walks and, and pond dipping and things like that as well? Yeah, we did the pond dipping in George Jackson's pond, which was brilliant fun, um, and rock, rock pooling, and bug hunts, and beach combing. We had these regular activities. I think family activities were twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. My favourite was the rock pooling. Um, and then the nature rambles, they were a later idea. And that was great fun as well. They were on a Sunday and just, it varied how many people came along. And we went to Kintraw, Sanigmore, Ardnave, 
um where else did we go I had sort of like roots sometimes we didn't manage the whole route because there was so much to see and we just focused on anything um and it was great fun if you'd got people oh Bunnahaven we went to it was great fun if you'd got people that were specialists themselves because they contributed and brought something um more you sort of enriched the whole time I absolutely loved it um, at Killing Allen, oh, we did rock pool. Sandy Shores at Killing Allen was amazing with the spider crabs. And um, that was safer. I have to say that was a bit safer than down at the rocks at Port Charlotte where you were worried about the kiddies falling and grazing a knee or worse. Um, and, yeah, it was it was, it was was brilliant. We did all sorts of things. And, it, you know, it, what it was great was that it was very low tech really low tech um none of this press this button and these amazing lights that sort of light up and everything it was it was yeah maybe old fashioned but there was it was very hands on very personal and it doesn't need to have all that high tech stuff to make it accessible to people it, it really doesn't what counts is a lot of enthusiasm and and certainly i've got that and the people that worked there fiona's got oceans of it as well and and Lorna that worked there with me sometimes certainly would it, it was just great I miss it did you see kids that came growing up with an interest in in natural history um now the right answer to that is yes Lorna my daughter yes <laughs> Um, do I remember seeing people from year to year? Oh, not not too much, because although I was there from maybe altogether about 10 years, mm -hmm. I can't, I'm sure they would have done. That's, mm -hmm. I, and I, I think there are some children that were youngsters when I was there that now help out in the centre. So they've mm -hmm. kind of carried on with that interest. Um yeah. What was it? Was there a lot of locals or a lot of visitors or or both? That the came? school sometimes came. Um, yeah, we had school visits. That was really good. Um, and yeah, it was a, it was a mixture. Uh, the visitors came as well, and there were most in the summer. It was it was youngsters, yeah. which which was great. But also it was good when enthusiastic adults came along and uh, were asking questions or were all excited because they'd, they'd seen something they wanted to show you the photo. I remember somebody once convinced it wasn't a wheat ear on the phone. And that's, <laughs> it evidently was a wheat ear. I wanted to make it into something really rare, but you just couldn't do it. And somebody else had seen a buzzard that they were, you know, it was a golden eagle. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I just let them believe it was the golden eagle because it was it was kinder to do that. So yeah, the, yeah. the, the buzzards are the tourist eagle, aren't they? That's yeah, so yeah. And of course, you do get both species of eagle on on Isla. Um, and we lent out the moth trap. We did moth trapping as well, and butterfly fun days. We did a lot, and I'm sure a lot of those kiddies will have grown up, and will will be there at the celebration. I hope. I hope so. I hope so. Okay, well, yeah, we'll we'll see you at the celebration, and I'll stop asking you questions just now. Okay. Okay. Fine. Well, thank you now. very much, Isabel. Lovely. Okay. Thank you. I will. Oh God. I don't know how to stop recording. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh, I can't do well, it. I do know. <laughs>